सम वर्सेस एनी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सम एंड एनी वॉट इज दैट माइन्यूट डिस्टिंक्शन बिटवीन सम एंड एनी I'll give you an example to make it clearer. Example one, I'm saying, go and eat something from the kitchen. It means there are few stuffs kept in the kitchen, so you have less choice. There is a small group or collection of things kept in the kitchen, out of which. you have to select and eat it so the word sum means unique unknown thing it is something specific now the next example is go and eat anything what does it mean it is something vague indefinite go and eat anything involves everything under the sun the choice is large you have got to select or choose from a large number of things i hope you understood rule number 1 of the pronoun sum it says that the pronoun sum is generally used in positive sentences for example i bought some berries some people say that it's good to exercise while rule number 1 for the pronoun any generally the pronoun any comes in negative sentences for example i don't want anything next example is there isn't any milk left in the jar so positive for some and negative for any rule number 2 says some is used in positive sentences where the noun is plural and countable it's the opposite for any any is used in negative sentences where the noun is plural and countable now let's see the examples for some the first example is we still have some fruits left in the bag it's a positive sentence and here the noun fruits it's plural and it's countable also we can count the number of fruits example 2 let's get some books from the library it's a positive statement books is countable and it is plural so in such cases you can use the pronoun or the determiner some now the next is any rule 2 for any the examples are first example we don't have any fruits left in the bag fruits it's plural and countable and the sentence is negative as well the next example we don't have any chicken left the sentence is negative but the noun is singular and countable that is chicken in such cases or situation we use any rule number 3 if the sentence is positive and has got an uncountable noun we can use some for example i have some time left with me time is uncountable we cannot count time plus the statement is positive so make sure that you use some next rule 3 for any if the sentence is negative and the noun is uncountable we use any i don't have any time left so basically what you need to keep in mind is mostly or generally the sentences with the pronoun or determiner some are positive generally it is negative with any rule number 4 
we use the pronoun some in interrogative sentences basically to make a request or an offer interrogative sentences are actually sentences with a question mark a question for example would you like to have some sugar any sugar is wrong so if you had to make a request an offer you have to use some second example may i get you something to drink may i get you anything to drink would be inappropriate or incorrect rule 4 for the pronoun any any is also used in interrogative sentences but not to make a request or an offer for example do you have any sibling we don't ask do you have some sibling do you have any plan that's more correct okay so whenever you had to put a question which is not a request or an offer you can make use of the pronoun or the determiner any